Hey there, Lauren Inman from the Ozarks First Digital Desk coming online today to show you guys a brand new tool from the Central United States Earthquake Consortium has come up with an interactive map showing what a major earthquake to hit Southeast Missouri, what that could look like for different counties throughout the state of Missouri and Arkansas and Tennessee. If you're like me and you grew up in this area, you probably have heard of the New Magic Seismic Zone or the New Magic Fault Line. And I remember in grade school hearing about what a major earthquake in Southeast Missouri um, could look like. Well, now uh, it seems especially timely with that major earthquake happening in Southeast Asia. Uh, unfortunately, thousands of people died. Uh, and so there is this new interactive map that's available to us. There's a big disclaimer saying, you know, this is not to cause people to panic, um, but this is, they actually created this interactive map as a planning tool for local governments to plan for uh, what could happen if a major earthquake, and, and I say major, the scenarios that it has um, playing out here are potentially a 7.5 magnitude earthquake, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake um, happening along the Numadric fault line. So let me show you this map here. So this is what it looks like, and I'll have the link to this if you want to play around with it yourselves and see what this looks like. Um, I'll have the link in this web story. But this is what it looks like whenever you log on to the site and see the dashboard initially. And there are three different scenarios. So if you come up here and select the first one, um, accounts for a 7.5 magnitude earthquake with an epicenter of Scott County, Missouri, which is in Southeast Missouri, south of Cape Girardeau. So you can see here, let me take myself off the screen so you can see these numbers a little bit better. So this shows that the, you know, the bullseye there is the most violent part of the earthquake prediction. Um, and then it goes severe is the pink color, the orange color is very strong, yellow is strong, green is moderate. So with the epicenter in Scott County, Missouri, you can see there, there could even be moderate shaking felt in Springfield. Um, but this is, this is the most impactful of the three projections. This one has the highest death toll. So the estimated number of fatalities um, for a potential earthquake with an epicenter in Scott County, Missouri, is up to 533 lives lost. It's estimating about 2,500 people injured, requiring hospitalization, and up to $75 billion in economic loss. And the other thing that's neat about this map is you can click on the counties. So in our viewing area, there are a couple of counties um, that could potentially be affected. This is Texas County. And you can see if you scroll down here, it says it estimates that because of this earthquake, 154 buildings would be damaged in Texas County. Uh, 4.3 million in utility infrastructure loss, some transportation infrastructure loss, and $11.4 million in direct economic loss. You can click on Howell County, you could see it, it anticipates 911 buildings could potentially be damaged in Howell County. And once again, this is the far west side of the impacts here. Um, but this is really interesting. I mean, you could really play around with this for a long time here. Um, this is Fulton County, Arkansas. Once again, it, it estimates 248 buildings potentially damaged if an earthquake were to strike in Scott County, Missouri. So then you can click around the other two. The second scenario here uh, anticipates an earthquake with an epicenter of Tipton County, Tennessee, which moves it southeast. Um, you can see there's less impact to the Springfield Metro. Uh, estimated number of fatalities here Oh wow, so this is this is a, actually a bigger impact. I, I thought for some reason that the Scott County, Missouri epicenter was the one with the biggest impact, but it looks like here, this earthquake could potentially result in 2,700 people dead, 1.5 million people exposed to very strong shaking, 15,000 people potentially requiring 
hospitalization from injuries. And then there's a third scenario here where this is the Southern Fault segment in Poinsett County, Arkansas. So that shifts it a little bit as well. Estimated number of fatalities in this, 825. This would, so it's interesting when you shift it, look at look how much farther the green extends. And the green is moderate shaking. So under this scenario, there would be moderate shaking for I mean, two thirds of Missouri and most of Arkansas. And you can see about two million people exposed to that shaking. 3,700 injuries requiring hospitalizations. Uh, wow. So, and huge numbers of economic loss, no matter what the three scenarios are. You can also um, select state and county uh, up here. If you uh, live in one of these counties that is more directly, like say we do Texas County here. It will also take you uh, and give you direct numbers just based on Texas County. So I think this is a very interesting tool and if you have a few minutes today you may want to play around with it and and see for yourself what the impacts of a major earthquake in southeast Missouri could be. Um, certainly interesting and something that we hope never ever happens in our lifetime or ever you know our children's lifetime either um, but it will be interesting to see how local governments react to this and if it does affect uh, how they plan for the future